So their company logo is like fading away as we speak. And when we flip it over, dude, it looks like the whole monitor is basically floating. This is exactly what I wanted. Look how clean this looks, man. It's finally happening. In this video, we're gonna be mounting the monitors to the desk. I have bought some monitor arms off of Amazon. These are from like a random company called Oncron. But the reason I went with this as opposed to some different monitor arm from Amazon is because this one was in the color white and I have a white desk. I didn't want the monitor arm to kind of like stand out. So I went for a white one. Hopefully it's just gonna kind of like blend into the wall and the desk and you're just not gonna notice it as much. The reason we're not actually mounting all three monitors in case you're wondering is because the middle one, that is from Razer. It's the Razer Raptor 27 inch monitor. And unfortunately it doesn't support any kind of VESA mounting. Luckily though, the outer two monitors, those are from MSI and both of them are the same monitor. So they both support. Vesa mounting, thank god. If only the Razer one could be mounted as well, that would be like the cherry on top, but it can't be so. It's not the end of the world though, honestly, because at least the Razer one has a nice stand, and if I'm being honest, I wouldn't be wall mounting it, even if I could, because I just like the stand. It looks cool, it's a unique monitor, so we're keeping the middle one as it is, and the outer two monitors, they're gonna be much, much cleaner, obviously, when there's no monitor stand on the desk. Let me show you what we're dealing with over in the setup and then we'll go ahead and unbox this and get everything set up. I'll show you a before and after of the setup, you know, without the monitor arms and then with the monitor arms. Let's jump into it. You may notice that this desk is uh, pretty damn big, but that is because I've combined two IKEA Linmon desks into one and you can do the same thing. It's actually really easy. I posted a dedicated video about the whole desk combination that I did uh, over on YouTube so you can press on the card and watch that video after you watch this one if you're interested in this desk right here but this is a super budget friendly desk it doesn't cost very much it's not the highest of quality and one thing you kind of got to watch out for I suppose when buying a monitor arm is whether or not it's like gonna actually fit to your desk luckily this IKEA Linmon desk is like the perfect shape for a monitor arm. The only thing you kind of got to watch out for is like the thickness of your desk. If it's like super, super thick, you know, chances are you're not going to be able to clamp a monitor arm onto your desk. So bear that in mind when you're shopping around for these things. But luckily with this desk, it's pretty much like compatible with probably most, if not all, uh, monitor arms that you'd mount to your desk. One thing I'm gonna have to actually re-cable manage is my mouse charger. So I've got these two Razer mice right here. Both of them are actually charged by the same mouse dock right here. So whenever you dock the mouse, it will begin charging. But for the longest time, I've actually been using this monitor arm to hide my cable for the mouse dock. So when I get rid of both of the monitor stands, I'm gonna have to like find a different place for this or I might just keep it in the same spot but then the cable is gonna be seen running across the entire desk so I'm gonna have to try to find a way to like hide the mouse dock cable. Let's move on to the actual unboxing of these monitor arms. In case you're wondering, they are compatible between 13 and 27 inch monitors. I have 27 inch monitors for all three and as for the max weight of this particular monitor arm, apparently 6.5 kg or 14.3 pounds. Uh, I think these monitors should be okay. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> oh wow, they even labeled these screws. That is very nice of them. All right, that's handy. We got this thing, the actual clamp. I'm guessing this might be attaching like this and then you're gonna screw this on, clamp it onto the desk obviously. The whole thing is made out of a mix of metal and plastic. Metal for the actual monitor arm itself, of course. And we have plastic cable management covers right here. So you can go ahead and run your monitor power cable, HDMI cable, or your DisplayPort cable through here and actually hide the cables away inside of these built-in cable management channels. And we have one more, I believe, up here, which is held in by one screw. And the bottom one is also held in by one screw as well. And you can go ahead and pop this thing off as well. And of course, run your monitor power cable, HDMI my cable through here. The other detachable part of this monitor arm is right here. This is also made out of plastic, but everything else beneath it is metal luckily. So we can pop this part off and I guess you could even run your cables, I guess, inside of this if you wanted to instead. Funnily enough though, their company logo is like fading away 
as we speak, but luckily this is pretty much the only logo found on the entire product, which we can always appreciate. And on the inside, you can see our VESA 75 by 75 mount. And then on the outer perimeter, we have the VESA 100 by 100. This is what we're gonna be mounting our monitors to, of course. It came with an Allen key as well as a screwdriver. And of course, all the other bits and pieces are over here. The whole thing came with instructions. So I'll have a look through this and we can put the whole thing together. Step one, you're gonna grab this piece right here if you are mounting this monitor arm to your desk, which in this case, I am. So we're gonna grab this piece right here, then included uh, right here, we're gonna get three to screws, mate, three to screws. For step two, you're gonna grab this part right here that actually screws everything on together, and this has two screw holes that you're gonna to use to attach onto this piece right here. Make sure you mount this on the inner part, not on the outer part, else that's not gonna work out for you. And they even give you some adjustment right here based on like how thick your desk actually is. Mine isn't super thick, so I'm gonna actually go for the two holes near the bottom here. Once again, using the included Allen key, just screw all of this down. Wow, look how simple that was. Only five screws and we are ready to go. So I'm gonna actually use this uh, desk right here as an example, just to show you how all of this would actually go down and, and, and work out. Next thing for me to do is to get this MSI monitor all ready. So I'm gonna just unplug everything that's currently plugged into it. On cable manage everything. So all I gotta do with this monitor is unscrew, I believe two screws right here obviously be careful while doing this because you know maybe the monitor might fall out or something you know take precautions when like unscrewing everything electric screwdriver for the win we have the monitor stand itself over here and then the monitor with its VESA 100 mounting points are over here i've already taken out two of the screws that i have here and there are two more uh, right here so i'm just going to go ahead and unscrew these all right, so I've been trying to mount this monitor arm onto this monitor right here. And I quickly noticed the moment I put this white bracket over top of where all the mounting points are, I noticed that this white piece, it's bigger than the cutout for where you actually be meant to mount everything onto. So there's no way for me to attach this monitor arm onto this monitor until I looked inside of the package and I found these. So we have like these uh, like circular like plastic pieces right here that happen to be just barely thick enough for me to put them around where the screw holes are and then be able to mount this perfectly without any problems, hopefully. <laughs> Check this out. Now we can just pick the whole thing up, dude. There you go. Monitor has been mounted. We can pop this back onto this table. I'm proud to say that this monitor arm mount has been an absolute success. Check it out. We've got the whole thing mounted back here. And when we flip it over, dude, it looks like the whole monitor is basically floating. This is exactly what I wanted. Look how clean this looks, man. Now, of course, all I need to do is like take this off of this desk and put it on my actual main desk. But I just mounted it onto this to show you it as an example. And of course, to show off all of the fancy features that are now possible because we have it mounted on a proper monitor arm instead of your standard monitor stand that comes with your monitor. This is actually so sick, man. So we get like absolutely every kind of adjustment. You could imagine you could mount the monitor vertically if you want. You could flip it upside down. It's actually very impressive. At first, the monitor actually kept falling down and was unable to be held by the monitor arm. But round back, you can tighten things up using the included Allen key that they gave you. And you can just tighten it up until the monitor isn't falling down whenever you like move it around. So yeah, I've got mine basically perfectly calibrated and we're ready to of course mount it onto the main desk and then do the same thing all over again with the other monitor. Super happy with the end result. As you can see, no more monitor stands and now we're just relying on the white monitor arms 
But man, does this look so much cleaner than it did before. Let's take a closer look at what's going on behind this monitor right here. As you may have noticed, these MSI monitors actually have RGB lighting built in, but only at the back of the monitor. So in this case, this is actually shining onto the wall and kind of like onto the table as well. When it's dark, you can actually see the lights a lot more. But when we have like all the nano leaves turned on and all of this, you obviously can't see them that much, but Moving on from that, we have RGB HDMI cable for this monitor right here. This is from Vivify. You can see I've wrapped it around this monitor arm right here and it kind of plugs into the monitor there, of course. I actually ended up re-cable managing the mouse dock as I did talk about that. And believe it or not, I have no problems with putting it right here. I am very happy with the mouse dock staying there. It's kind of cable managed, it looks fine. And as for this mouse mat right here, there is a cable coming out of it, but that at least is a white cable. It really doesn't stand out too much. So for now, I'm okay with this, but in the future, obviously a, a good solution would be to drill a hole through this table and then route this cable through there as well. But I'm not gonna do that anytime soon, I think. Like, I just don't feel like ruining this desk anymore. I've already drilled a hole to route my Elgato Stream Deck cable through the mouse mat, then through the desk. Yes, you did just hear me say, through the mouse mat. Forgive me for this, but I've, um, I've popped a hole in the mouse mat. Sorry, Razor. <laughs> I did buy this mouse mat myself though, so there is that. But like, yeah, I did actually go ahead and uh, poke a hole through the mouse mat solely to route my Stream Deck cable beneath the keyboard and then down the desk. Perfect cable management. Moving on all the way over here to check out what I've done with this monitor. Once again, we have RGB lighting and it is actually decently bright to be honest behind the monitor right here. Once again, this RGB lighting shines onto the table this time instead of the wall and then the monitor arm gets a bit of RGB as well, of course, but this one's actually mounted over here. I could have mounted this arm over there, but I have J channels for cable management. As you can probably see, there is no way for me to mount an arm over there, so instead I mounted it right here, but it really didn't cause any kind of a problem whatsoever. Both monitors are mounted, they're both pretty level I would say, there's not really too much issues with adjusting them and keeping them in place. They did keep falling, I'll be honest, but you can tighten them down, it is really really easy. Go over here, get one of the Allen keys that came with this monitor arm, tighten this down on the plus, and then you can tighten this one down as well, in case your monitor keeps like falling forward. But overall, this has turned out looking super good. Very happy that I actually bought these monitor arms. If your setup has multiple monitors and you are still using monitor stands, buy monitor arms. It's gonna be worth it. Check out how clean this looks, man. And we have more desk space, more desk space than ever before. You know, we have all this area right here that we can put stuff. We have this whole area that we can put stuff. Apart from that though, thank you all so much for watching. As always, there will be links down below in the video description to what I have in my gaming setup, but most importantly, the monitor arms. They are linked in the video description as well. So if you wanna level up your gaming setup as well, Picking up some monitor arms is something I would absolutely recommend now that I've finally gotten around to doing it myself. Big success, very happy with it. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Goodbye.